Explain more about how carbon offsets fit into all this. Yeah, I, again, this is part of, of net zero, right? So it, it's the mechanism that allows a company, uh, let's use Unilever in this case, to purchase credit from some project that may be run in Gabon, uh, where they're claiming to have uh, in prevented deforestation that was going to happen, and, and they did so uh, for a financial you know, for financial reasons, because they were promised payment for this credit. So they, you know, that's, and then Unilever gets to to claim a uh, an offset for its own emissions so it can keep on polluting. And conceivably this community in Gabon would get payment for uh, having preserved their their forest, which they wouldn't have done otherwise. I mean, the problem with this is it, it once you get into the accounting and look what's actually happening on the ground, it were, you know, far from that rosy, rosy scenario. Usually it's a lot of consultants who get paid. They come up with some very, uh, well, how would I, from maybe too strong a term, but they, they come up with some very ingenious ways to, to make it appear as if they've been, um, you know, the emissions uh, have been, have been saved or that the, the, the carbon will be securely stored uh, in say a protected forest. Often, what we've seen too, is often these models rely on actually um, constraining local food production. So preventing communities from say, using parts of the forest for their agricultural production. So a company who is engaged in, you know, the expansion of plantation, oil palm plantations in say Indonesia gets to offset those emissions by forcing community say in Madagascar, um, you know, to, uh, to not use certain parts of its land for its own f- food production. I mean, it's it, entirely inequitable, unjust, and, and, and frankly, disingenuous. The report draws attention to how land grabbing in the global south for the massive offsetting of emissions has been called out as carbon colonialism. Explain that issue. Yes, well, I, I'm, it's the same basic equation. You have uh, companies largely from the north who are the main polluters, and they are looking to take over the lands, forests, waters, territories, uh, mainly in the global south, uh, mainly in places occupied by indigenous uh, people and local communities, in order to be able to allow themselves to go on polluting, to maintain their you know their dominance to maintain their systems of production. So it's 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 a it's a kind of a strange uh, way of looking at it now, but the, it's it's rather like the um, control. It still remains about the, the control of resources. Uh, so in, in this case, not to necessarily serve as raw material, but as to serve as a way to allow for these companies to keep on polluting. 